Okay, today I'd like to go over a utility named SP Blitz, which is a scanning utility that you can use on your databases. Uh, usually works really well with a database that you're just coming into, maybe a new client or you're starting a new job. You can run SP Blitz and you get a lot of information in a short amount of time. So SP Blitz is supported by Brent Ozar. Brent Ozar is a very uh, predominant SQL Server consult consultant a lot of people uh, know of him in the SQL Server community. He's got a consulting practice that uh, support specializes in SQL Server, but I think he's also branched out in some of the other databases now. I've got the URL for where you can get more information about SP Blitz, and I'll have it. I'll include it in the description of the video. And this is a free utility for SQL Server databases. It's widely used in the SQL Server community. And it's implemented as a stored procedure that you can install in a utility database on your server. I usually uh, use a database I call SSTS Admin. There's about a dozen parameters to the procedure, at least in the most recent version of it. And that's they're used to control various behaviors. And it's maintained and updated frequently. So I've got the URL where you can go get the download. Go to brenozar.com slash first aid. And again, I suggest you install this into a utility database. There's a use statement at the top of the script that you can edit and change to whatever database name you want to use. Requirements, it just needs SQL Server 2008 or newer. If you happen to be running something older than 2008, there's actually versions of SP Blitz that you could run on, the, on those databases. You just have to get an older version of the utility. And if this seems overwhelming in any way, hey, feel free to contact me. I specialize in this. So I can not only do the install for you, but I can actually interpret the results and form an action plan for your databases. So what I have listed here are the parameters that you pass into SP Blitz. And to be perfectly honest with you, almost every time I run it, I'm running it with no parameters, which means I'm just running the defaults. And I've got the default values all listed here. So most of what these things do is allow you to skip certain checks if you don't want to uh, include them in the output. Now, when you run the SP Blitz, it usually doesn't take very long, maybe a couple of minutes. Uh, but just to be safe, you probably want to avoid peak activity on your system. So for the timing of your first run of it, you know, do it on a weekend or an evening or sometime when your, your system is not heavily loaded. So when you run SP Blitz, the findings come out in various categories, and there's different findings that you might have depending on what the category is. So what I've listed here are some of the various categories and some examples of what you might uncover when SP Blitz runs. And it's literally running hundreds of queries on your system and bringing back this information. So you're getting a big bang for the buck in terms of time investment here. So under the backup category, it'll tell you if your databases are missing backups. It'll tell you if MSDB backup history is not purged. And it'll tell you if maybe you're, you've got TDE certificates on your system and you have not backed them up yet. And under reliability, it'll tell you if your DBCCs have been running or not. It'll tell you if your transaction logs are larger than your database files, which is an indicator that you're in full recovery mode and you don't have transaction log backups in place. There's a bunch of different performance findings it might have, such as if your recovery interval is suboptimal, if you've got deadlocks occurring on your system, if you've got many plans for one query, if your fill factor was changed on your indexes, if change tracking is enabled on your tables, if you've got foreign keys in your database and they're not enabled or not trusted, or if you've got triggers on tables, which can be a, a, an issue with, with respect to performance. And for file configuration, it'll tell you if your file growth is set to a certain value or if your file growth is set to percent. And you want to be aware of what your file growth is on your transaction logs and your database files. Because when those files grow, you could occur, incur like blocking on your system because things, things can stop, especially with the transaction log when it grows basically has to lock up your database. Continuing on with categories, so we've got the security category, and it'll tell you things like if your database owner is not equal to SA, or if you've got SQL agent jobs that are owned by users, it'll identify sysadmin users, and it'll identify elevated permissions on database users. 
basically tell you who DB owners are in your database. Under the monitoring category, it'll identify SQL agent jobs that don't have failure emails. It'll identify when you don't have alerts on for corruption, or if general alerts are disabled that can scan your alert log to figure out if you've got issues in your SQL server. Under the informational category, it'll tell you when you've got SQL agent jobs that are, that are starting at the same time, so you might want to stagger those. It'll identify if you've got database encryption enabled on, on databases on the server. It'll identify if you've got linked servers in your system, if replication is in use, or when trace flags are enabled. And under the non-default server config, it'll basically tell you if you've got non-default settings, and it'll call each one out individually. So these are just some examples of what you'll see. There's a lot more information that comes out, but this these are some of the things that I that I pulled out of some of the reports that I was looking at to prep for this video. Well, that'll do it for an intro to the SP Blitz utility. Try it out. You know, install it on a development or a non-prod system, run the utility, and see what it finds. Um, it's a great tool to really get acquainted with a new SQL server or even for, an, for a server that you've been working with already. You know, I would really recommend running it, you know, at least a couple of times a year uh, to just scan your systems and make sure everything's in place. As I said, it's really efficient in terms of you're getting a lot of a big bang for your buck in terms of time. It's going to go out and scan and in a couple of minutes, you're going to have a real good feel for what kind of shape your system is in. So that's it for today. Please like the video if you liked it. Consider subscribing. And if you have questions about SP Blitz or anything else, database or SQL Server or Oracle specific, hey, send them to me. I'm waiting for them. Bye.